Polarizing Power, Polarizability, and Covalent Character. In this video, we will cover three highly related definitions and see how they all connect. Let's start with a brief overview, and then we'll look at each in more detail. An anionic bond, a cation, can attract some of the electron density of the anion. The ability to make this shift happen is the polarizing power. This shifts the electron cloud back toward the positive species a bit more. The more the electron cloud is able to shift, the greater the polarizability. Different cations have different abilities to shift the clouds. This is called polarizing power. Different anions have differing amounts that their clouds are able to shift when exposed to the same cation. This is called polarizability. The more of either of these an ionic species has, the more covalent character it has. Let's look at each of these three concepts in more detail. So what affects polarizability? Since this is about a shifting electron cloud, we need to think about what makes an electron cloud more able to be shifted. And there are two things that affect this. First, the charge. The greater the negative charge, the greater the size of the cloud, and the greater the negative to positive charge ratio is. This creates more polarizability. Second, the size of the cloud. The more energy shells an ion has, the more shielding it has, and the more polarizability it has. Here are some examples with the size of the species. You can see as you go down the periodic table, the shell gets bigger. Things with more negative charges are also bigger. But remember, increasing negative charge also increases polarizability because of the electron to proton ratio being higher, not just the size. Generally, the charge wins if the charge and the size of the ion are on conflicting trends, but as always, a really big size difference is gonna overwhelm a charge difference. Now let's talk polarizing power. The positively charged species is able to pull back some of the electron density in an ionic bond. How able it is to do this is what we call polarizing power. Similar to our last discussion, there are two things which affect polarizing power. Both of them are because it increases the valence shell effective nuclear charge. Firstly, its charge. The greater its positive charge, the greater its valence effective nuclear charge, and the greater its polarizing power. Secondly, size. The smaller the ion is, the greater its valence effective nuclear charge is, and the greater its polarizing power is. I put some ion sizes in for reference, but all of our normal periodic trend rules apply. As you move down the periodic table, the size of the ion increases. Therefore, the polarizing power decreases. In general, the charge of the ion matters more to its polarizing power than the size of the ion. Though, as with most periodic trends, this can be overwhelmed with extreme enough examples. So now let's combine these two concepts. The more polarizable an anion is, and the more polarizing power the cation has, the more the electron density will shift back a little bit toward the cation. This increases the covalent character. So let's do an example. We have sodium chloride and magnesium iodide. Which has more covalent character between the two? So let's first look at the cation. Mg2 plus is close to the same size as sodium since it's so near it in the periodic table, but it has the bigger positive charge, which will make it both smaller and also having a higher proton to electron ratio. This means that it has more polarizing power than sodium. This points toward magnesium iodide having more covalent character, but we need to check in on the anion. We can look at the anion and see that iodide is further down the periodic table, but has the same charge as chloride. This means we'll base which one has more polarizability just on its size. Iodide is larger, therefore it has more polarizability. This means that the anion too points toward magnesium iodide as having more covalent character. Since magnesium has more polarizing power and iodide has more polarizability, then magnesium iodide has more covalent character. As usual with trend questions, I don't ask ones that go against the trend. Um, and so I'll always ask these ones that point in the same direction. You should now have a better understanding of how to rank cations in terms of polarizing power. 
anions in terms of polarizability, and then using these combined concepts, decide which compounds have more covalent character.